Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to make a video going over a few questions that I had. Uh, the first being is the virtual machines. Why I run Docker for in each virtual machine to only run one application. Now, to answer this, I think I should really explain what Docker is, if you don't know. Now, Docker is basically a platform as a service that allows virtualization within the OS uh, to, deliver, to deliver software in packages. And there is a Docker repo that you can download different applications that are all containerized within one package. So to go over a little bit of why I have just one Docker container running in each server, because you can run multiple Docker containers. You can run you know, tens of tens of different Docker containers depending on how beefy your server is. So the main reason is for this purpose, VM snapshots. So I like to go into my servers from time to time and kind of mess around in them, learning different things. And I've run into problems in the past where I've accidentally broke applications. Now, to make it easier on myself, I can just go back and revert the snapshot to before I started messing around. And when I do that, it doesn't impact any of the other applications that I have running across my environment because it's set up on its own virtual machine. So it really just makes it kind of easier on myself when I go to revert from snapshots. It doesn't take down any other application. And there's kind of a, a good breeze. I mean, I could just not mess around with the Docker the Docker containers, and that would be an easy solution. But we all like to learn, and we all make mistakes. That's what, make, what makes us human. So uh, I hope that answers the questions that I have within vSphere. Now, all of these servers, they run ESXi, and they are combined together with the vSphere client. And that also allows me to do vMotion migrations. It allows high availability and it has vSphere DRS, which basically alleviates the servers across the, the three servers that I'm running. So no server is running too many items. So if you look on here, most of these servers, they're pretty similar with the amount of CPU and memory that each of them are running, and it keeps the environment stable. Now, moving over to Unraid. Now, on RAID, I do run a number of different Docker containers, but I do not run them in production. And the main reason for that is not having the ability for snapshots. Now, if Unraid had that ability, that would change everything. But as far as I know, it doesn't. And it also, as far as I'm aware, does not have any high availability options. So, uh, I like to use Unraid just for testing different applications because it's so easy. If you like to set up an application, you just go over to the Apps tab, you search for what you want to install, let's search for Plex, and when you hit download, it just gives you a couple options you can enter in and hit apply and you're done. It makes it super quick. That's why I love testing different Docker containers with an Unraid. Then if I need to remove them, it's as easy as clicking on them and clicking remove. So it's mainly just easy. If you haven't looked into Unraid, I would hi highly recommend it. Super great, but it's not something that I would like to run my production items on. Right, if you have any other questions with what I went over today, please let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to address them. Thanks everyone.